We got some, uh, <clears throat> some interesting things that have kind of, uh, developed. And it looks like it's just like a, like a small write-up post for now. Tune into the Overwatch 2 reveal event on June 16th. We all knew this from the tweet. We all know this from the tweet. However, it's a little deeper than that. The Overwatch team has some exciting, fresh off the press news to share with our community. We've been eagerly awaiting the moment we can show you all the things we've been creating. We just had a beta where we saw a bunch of stuff. So, looking at that wording, does that mean there is a lot of stuff that they were eagerly waiting to show us we haven't seen? So mark your calendars to start your alarms and don't miss out. The Overwatch 2 reveal event. The Overwatch 2 reveal event will be on the Play Overwatch YouTube and Twitch channels on June 16th at 10 a.m. PDT or 11, or no, sorry, 1 p.m. EST. Have we not had Overwatch 2 revealed already? What that wording means is likely that there's actually something way bigger that we haven't seen. It's still being kept very low key. Like, I feel like the reveal event is like a big deal, right? But that could mean many things. It could be PVE. It could be PVP. Like, we just saw, we just got a bunch of PVP stuff, right? I, I'm leaning more towards PVE. That's, that's my honest take. I'm leaning towards PVE because we just got a bunch of PVP stuff, right? Now, is there the possibility that the PvP beta we just played was actually just a very small amount? I know a lot of people, myself kind of included, kind of theorized that. Um, that the beta was kind of like a little like a technical test to see how things go. And see how the game is played and how the engine works with players playing it outside of play tests. I just want you to, to just remember really quick. The first sentence, we've been eagerly awaiting the moment we can show you all the things we've been creating. So it's new, something new, something big and new. It has to be PVE. There's no way it's not. That's my opinion. Keep going. Up until now, we'd introduced the new damage hero Sojourn, push, hero reworks, new maps, and a variety of new features all coming to Overwatch 2. The team is committed to being transparent with the community and quickly adjusting to what we are learning from testing. There were multiple balance patches throughout the beta and a few new abilities like Zenyatta's snap kick passive. We only, we've only just scratched the surface. This is the beginning of everything we have in store for the game. We've only just scratched the surface. This is the beginning of everything we have in store for the game. What that probably means to me is if beta one that we got was a smaller amount of what they have for PVP, there's also the massive other side that everyone's been putting big question marks in the air for. That was PVE. They've been working on this PVE for forever, years. Could this be marketing hype, though? Think about this for one second. I agree with you, right? It is always, always good to be skeptical in these situations. I, I applaud you. I think it's a good thing to have. But if this was marketing hype, why would it only be... I'm going to swap because pulling Twitter on stream is a terrible idea. You never know what you might get. Why would they not even tweet Let's this go. article out? And by the way, I'm a little late on this. Uh, this came out this morning or this fire. afternoon. Um, plus long min reported and it mentions a reckoning like they did with the Reaper event. Forty plus minute long. Wait, forty plus minute long min reported. Wait, hang on. Forty plus long minute reported. And it, I didn't. I'm not gonna lie to you. I have no fucking clue what that just said. Forty plus long minute 
reported, and it mentions a reckoning like they did. Can, can you just give me a link to maybe some? Well, I don't. I don't know. I'm sorry, dude. I have no fucking clue what that meant. Anyways, um, I mean, I'm just stupid, but I'm kind of late. I started late today. So the fact that this didn't even get tweeted, I kind of think that it's not marketing hype. It kind of seems like a like a blog post. And I, I wonder if we're seeing, I wonder, sorry, you know, I say I wonder, but I guarantee we see some more stuff in the next few days. There's, I, I refuse to believe that if it's going to be this big, Thank you. they don't, you know, they don't push more. There's going to, if it's going to be as big as it's, this seems... There's going to be more push. I, I ref, Sorry, I say the word push, but I forget push is a game mode. Uh, there's going to be more given um, and more content, and it's going to be that big of a deal. There has to be more, like, outreach to, like, hey, look, you know, let's, uh, you know, get eyes on this. Overwatch has always stood up for inclusivity, open-mindedness, and the idea that the world could always use more heroes. By the way, that probably references this, uh, which, by the way, more news, I guess. Uh, if you didn't know, uh, Overwatch will be having a Twitch Rivals event beginning in July 12th um, with a 250k pl uh, prize pool to support the LGBTQT or LGBTQIA community. Uh, and there's more details and stuff that's coming soon. You know, I'd love to play at a Twitch Rivals. I hope so. But uh, understandable if not. But either way, uh, always need more heroes. These foundational pillars are bringing us into the future. What keeps us grounded in the most important, our community. We are listening we hear you, and we can't wait to show you what's coming for Overwatch 2. You are not going to want to miss the Overwatch 2 reveal event. Some might say it's time for a reckoning. It's time for a reckoning? That is very, very, and I mean very, strong wordage wordage to use for this new hero it has i mean of course there has to be a new hero of course there is i'm just telling you, i'm just gonna be honest with you there's a zero percent chance there's not another hero in the next beta zero none at all i think the chances are, 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 are much more of like how many new heroes is it one is it two is it three you know what i mean like i think it scales upwards but the here's the thing though here's the thing i think this is going to show off PvE. I think this is where we see PvE. As if, like... I think it was, like, Stylosa had the take on Twitter or something. That was, like, they're just going to pretend 2019 event never happened. And just show the PvE now of what they've been working on. Because everyone's got the question in their mind. What has Blizzard been doing for the last three years? I think this is their time that they want to start showing. If this is a full reveal event... If this is a full reveal event, I'm curious to see how far they go with it. Thank you. Don't do it. Don't give me hope. Hey, listen. I don't want to give you hope, Ben. Hey, listen. I, 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 I put this video out five fucking days ago, okay? I was fully ready to jump off the ship. I I already... No, chat, you, you can't see it, but I had my bags packed, okay? Look at the bucket. The bucket's already packed with snacks. It was ready to leave, okay? I, I was going home. All right, I was leaving. I was ready to go. But we cannot ignore the power of the wording here. That is, I think that Blizzard has probably learned their lesson with hyping up events very heavily. Uh, like, for example, with the Sojourn event, I think they may have misrepresented to the community what they were going to be in for. Um, most people understood it as like a gameplay reveal even though they did say it was a gameplay trailer, I think they probably learned from that. We're like, okay, we need to be more careful with our wording in the future for events. They're not being very careful with this. They're not being very careful. I want a new cinematic. I wonder if this is our first cinematic we've seen in a long time. Wait a minute, wait a minute, pause. It's a live, it, it's an event, it's a revent, it's an event, it's a live stream. But it's already started as a premiere, so it's an event, it's a live stream event. You need to have a lot of airtime for an event like that. As a streamer, I understand how much it takes to fill airtime. I wonder if we get a cinematic. So, all right, here's my predictions. Ready? This is all what you're here for, this is my predictions. Number one, PVE. This is gonna be our first look at PVE since 2019. It's going to be a big PV. They're going to show off 
maybe a mission or part of a mission, maybe like how it works, maybe how like, you know, if there's like skill trees or whatever. I think we see some PvE. Obviously, we get some talks about Beta 2 uh, PvP, and I think it's probably at least one new hero. I'm going to say two. I think at least two. I, I, I don't think they can only do one more hero again. I think one hero was really underwhelming for that last Beta. I think they go with two at least. Um. Oh yeah, there was there was uh on on the play Overwatch's page there was a thing with Sojourn where there was like a, a like a possible teaser that there was Sojourn as like one of the characters like the DPS role and then there was a support role and a tank role that both weren't chosen right like they were both like spinning wheels or whatever like as if they were waiting to be support or or picked and one was support and one was tank so I wonder if there's gonna be a support and a tank that come out. I'm going to say two. I'm going to bet two new heroes for the next beta. That's my that's my next bet. Four. This is the big one. Is Overwatch going to finally set the record straight with how this game works? Because I feel like the average consumer has been confused for so long about how Overwatch is going to work in paid as a paid content. I think... Jeff set the, the precedent back in 2019 that if you owned Overwatch, you were going to get PvP for free, and the PvE was going to be paid, but it was such a confusing like release and launch for, for players that they don't understand, and the general public thinks that they're paying for another game when it could be a PvP free-to-play, which is my prediction. I think it's going to be a PvP free-to-play. I wonder if this is the event where they just fucking lay everything out on the table and they just go, boom. This is what Overwatch 2 will be, and this is what it's going to be like for you. And they just, they don't show us all the content, but they show us PvE, they show us PvP, and they start to answer those, like, questions, you know, of, like, what the original redefined the sequel. You know what, actually, I think they're going to walk back for redefining the sequel. I think they're going to change and pivot somewhere else, because I think redefine the sequel genuinely was a failure. I think the whole redefine the sequel thing was a, it was a marketing fail. And they're going to try to uh, to write, try to fix that. Um, so that's my my four big predictions. And number five is a cin cinematic. I think we'll get a cinematic tomorrow. Uh, the reckoning is going to be Aaron Keller going to everyone that talks shit about the first beta and <laughs> beating the fuck out of them. <laughs> stop! 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 Um. Anyways, though. Um, yeah, I low key. Listen, I've uh, listen. I, I mean, if you saw by this video last week, I was mentally kind of preparing to move because I didn't think this was going to be that big of an event. I thought they were being suspiciously quiet again because uh, they didn't think they had much to announce. I, I no longer believe that's the case. I'm kind of like I'm kind of back in a little bit with this. This is kind of this is either the most like this is either the most abusive relationship of like pull it, push and pull and like. You know, em emotional manipulation that I've ever been in in my whole life. Um, or this shit's hopefully going to knock our socks off. And I hope it's more just the second one. Um, I think the next few days will be a big tell. If there's a lot of, like, push in the next few days. Okay, man, I shouldn't use... The word push is now hard to use with talking about Overwatch. If there's more, much more of, like, a marketing push where they talk about the event more, maybe it'll be bigger. Um, but I think Overwatch is probably playing it low-key. Because of how things have went in the past. So they're trying to keep it low-key right now. Um, that's why they didn't tweet this. They didn't even tweet this article. Which I think is like a, a big like. Like this article is like a big like. Hey. We're gonna, we're coming. We're coming and we're going to make a mark. You know like. This is like, this is like a low-key big promise. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see.